Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know your fuel pump is failing and it's time to change your old fuel pump with a brand new fuel pump? The first sign that you know that your fuel pump is acting up and it's starting to fail is going to be intermittent stalling. For example, let's just say you're taking off from a stop light and you're driving down the road, you're going 10 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour, and suddenly when you hit 40, 50 miles per hour, your vehicle starts to sputter and stall. That could be a very strong sign that your fuel pump is failing. The reason why you are experiencing intermittent stalling, especially driving on a highway, is going to be caused by a weak electric motor in the fuel pump. When the electric motor in the fuel pump is failing, it cannot provide that constant and reliable fuel pressure the engine needs. When you are driving, the throttle body plate is going to open up and your engine is going to take in more air. When the engine takes in more air, also the engine must also increase fuel going to the uh, engine. Again, if the electric fuel pump is failing, it cannot provide that fuel to constantly provide to the engine. Therefore, you will experience stalling. So in most cases, when the electric fuel pump is extremely weak and every time you step on that gas pedal, most likely you're going to experience intermittent stalling. The next time that you know that your fuel pump had already completely failed is going to be no start. Let's just say one day you start up your vehicle and your vehicle cranks and cranks and cranks but won't start. There's a very high chance your vehicle is not starting simply because the electric fuel pump most likely had already failed. When you try to start your vehicle and you don't hear that buzz noise coming from the back seat area, there's a good chance the fuel pump either is not receiving power or the electric motor had already failed. To listen for a buzzy noise, there are two options. Either listen for a buzzy noise coming from the back seat area or listen for a buzzy noise coming from the gas cap area. So you could, if you plan to listen for buzzy noise coming from the gas cap area, you must remove the gas cap to hear that buzzy noise. Next, what you want to do is turn your key to radio mode, but do not start your vehicle. Your fuel pump should run for about two seconds. During those two seconds, the electric motor should be spinning and you should be able to hear, again, buzzy noise coming from the back seat area or from the gas cap area with the gas cap removed. Even if your electric fuel pump is failing, it is possible to get it up and running. So let's just say you went grocery shopping and suddenly when you come back and you try to start your vehicle, it cranks but won't start. Again, it is possible that it could be fuel related that's causing the uh, vehicle to not start. So in this case, like I said, it is possible to get that fuel pump up and running. All you have to do is tap on the uh, fuel tank. You can use a rubber mallet, but in most cases, like I said, if you went grocery shopping, you're not going to carry a rubber mallet. So what you can do if your vehicle is high enough, you can go underneath the vehicle and locate the fuel tank. When you see the fuel tank, you can make a fist, tap on the fuel tank, and maybe that might get the electric motor to run. If you don't want to use your fist, you can also use your, your shoe. You can remove your shoe and just hit on the fuel tank pretty hard, and maybe that might get the uh, electric motor up and running again. And let's just say you drive a truck or an SUV, it is possible that you can actually kick the fuel tank and that, that also work as well. I know I tried that before a long time ago and it actually worked. And if you get your vehicle up and running, remember you must replace that fuel pump as soon as possible. If you plan to drive at home, make sure you drive slow, stay on the right hand lane close to the shoulder and be, be uh, prepared to uh, pull over when the vehicle stalls. The next sign that you know that it's definitely time to change your electric fuel pump is going to be your electric fuel pump acts up when either the weather is hot or let's just say after going for a drive. So when your electric fuel pump is weak and failing, it can actually start to act up when the electric motor gets hot. Again, when the weather is hot, it can definitely cause the electric motor to not work properly. Again, cause it to intermittently uh, stop working and also when going for a drive so the electric motor needs to work again it's going to get hot again it can start to act up again if you notice that the electric fuel pump is failing due to heat related and let's just say that if your vehicle only starts when the engine is cold or when it cooled down then definitely you know it is time to change that electric fuel pump the next time that you know that you have a weak electric fuel pump and it's time to replace it with a brand new fuel pump it's going to be low fuel pressure when you have low fuel pressure this will cause hard start no start this will cause rough idle 
and an engine misfire. When you notice all these symptoms, it is time to check fuel pressure. When you check fuel pressure, you always want to compare it to manufacturer specification. And if fuel pressure is too low, go ahead and replace this old fuel pump with a brand new fuel pump. Be mindful that there are a lot of reasons why you have low fuel pressure. Sometimes you can have clogged fuel filter. There could be a clog somewhere in the line. You could have a faulty fuel pressure regulator and so on. The second most common cause why electric motor and a fuel pump fail is going to be very bad habits. By bad habits, I mean driving your vehicle until the low fuel warning light turn on. When you keep on driving your vehicle, when the low fuel warning light turns on, this is very bad for the electric motor. When gas runs extremely low in the fuel tank, this will cause the electric motor to heat up faster. The gasoline in the fuel tank acts like a, like a lubricant for the electric motor. And without proper lubrication, this will cause increased friction, therefore causing the electric motor to overheat and it can cause it to prematurely fail. On the bottom end of the fuel tank, there's going to be a lot of sediments and dirt on the bottom end. So when fuel runs extremely low, all that fuel on the bottom is going to be concentrate, concentrated with uh, sediment and dirt. And you run it too low, the electric fuel pump is going to suck up all the dirt and sediment and it can cause the electric motor to, again, prematurely fail. The next common reason why the electric motor prematurely fell is going to be the vehicle sat too long. For example, let's just say you go on, on vacation for like a month or two, or let's just say you got deployed overseas and your vehicle sat too long, this can definitely cause your electric motor to, pre pre to uh, prematurely fail. The reason why is because if the electric motor is not running and it's just sitting in there in a, in a fuel tank full of fuel, eventually that electric motor can start to rust. When it starts to rust, it's going to make it difficult for that electric motor to spin Again, causing it to, pre to uh, prematurely fail. Let's just say you replaced your fuel pump before, and let's just say your fuel pump didn't last that long. For example, let's just say only about 40,000 miles. Maybe this can be caused by a missing strainer on the new fuel pump. If you're replacing the fuel pump and you don't change that strainer, or let's just say it is missing, it's gonna suck up all that dirt and the sediment in the fuel tank. Again, causing that fuel pump to prematurely fail. Here I have a brand new fuel pump and I just bought it for a vehicle and this one's also missing a strainer as well so that means I'm going to have to use the uh, old strainer or purchase a brand new strainer for this new fuel pump. The quickest and fastest way to check if you got a bad fuel pump or not simply is just to uh, give power to the uh, fuel pump. If you give power to the fuel pump and a fuel pump motor is not spinning, then you know that fuel pump is bad. Of course, it is a lot of work if you have to drop the fuel tank or you have to remove the back seat just to give power to the fuel pump. Before doing all that work, I always start with the basic. First thing first, check the fuel pump relay and check the fuse. If they are bad, go ahead and replace it. Next thing you want to check is you want to check wires. Wires can definitely become damaged, shorted, it can burn out there can be an open and so on. In most cases, the wire is going to run from the front end of the engine all the way to your fuel pump. The wire is going to be located underneath the uh, vehicle for most truck and SUV. It's going to run along the chassis and there's going to be a, an insulator on it. Sometimes these wires can become damaged and it can cause an open or can cause a short. And if there's an open or short, definitely there will be missing power and the fuel pump, again, will not receive any power. If your engine crank and won't start and you're not sure why your engine is not starting and let's just say you're not sure if it's going to be fuel related or it's missing spark or it has low compression or it could be timing related and so on, the quickest way to uh, find out this issue is go to the store and buy starting fluid. You can spray starting fluid inside the throttle body and have somebody crank the engine. If the vehicle starts right up, then you know your issue is going to be fuel related. To summarize everything of all the classic symptoms of a failing fuel pump is going to be intermittent stalling, hard start, no start, the engine stalls when you step on a gas pedal, the engine may not start after going for a drive, the engine may not start when the weather is hot, and so on.
I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.